Hi, I'm Mandeep Singh, founder of Mandeeps.com and in this short video we'll be sending our first email campaign using our live campaign module. So let's get started. I have the live campaign module on the page here and it is already configured. Refer to our getting started video if you need to do that. And now that it's ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and send our first campaign. So let's click on the campaigns tab here and we're going to click on create a new campaign. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is give this campaign a name. This could be anything. and this campaign name is basically is used to identify the campaign when, when you're looking at reports or managing the campaign. So we're uh, just released a new DNN skin called Portal. So I'm just going to say Portal DNN skin by Mandeeps.com. This is my campaign name. And by by tabbing away or just clicking away, this automatically becomes my subject of the email as well. It doesn't have to be. So you can go ahead and change this to anything else you want. By default, the default settings are coming through the preferences which we set up in the getting started video. Uh, this email is going to be shown as it's coming from Mandeeps.com and the reply to address would be no reply at Mandeeps.com. Now we can go ahead and personalize the subject by uh, inserting the first name and last name of the recipient and so forth. And similarly we can go ahead and change the uh, replies to a different address. But I'm going to leave these settings for default for now and just go ahead and click next. So this is where we specify the content of the email. For example, I can say, hello uh, customers, uh, we just released our new skin. Now, of course, this is for demo purposes, that's now how a newsletter will look. Uh, you can go ahead and add personalizations here, like the email, first name, last name, a web version link, and an unsubscribe link. Now, and adding an unsubscribe link is very important. If I don't and hit next, it's just going to basically warn me saying you're not using an unsubscribe link which is highly recommended. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to my content and change that. To save time, I already have the HTML markup copied for my newsletter. I'm just going to simply go to the HTML tab here and paste it. And I'm going to go ahead and hit next. And on this screen, uh, basically the live campus asking who will receive this campaign now I have subscriber list already created so if you don't have a subscriber list already created be sure to check the video that says working with subscribers and lists that will teach you how to create new subscribers add email addresses and so forth but now I have the option to go ahead and send this email campaign to one or more subscriber list for example this is a email in, uh, announcing our new products so I would like to send it to new product release and updates and promotions and special offers because we have a coupon code in there for early adopters now I could have just as easily sent this to internal DNA and security rules if I wanted to or I could have manually specified recipients just by copying and pasting I can actually go ahead and add them by executing a SQL query as well against any connection string uh, and then picking up uh, email addresses using your legacy database or application. So now for all purposes, you would want to target uh, the email campaigns to your subscriber list only. So this way you're allowing your uh, end users to go ahead and manage their subscriptions, which they can do through, through a specific list. So they can come back and say, look, I don't want any new product releases emails, but do send me your monthly newsletters. Anyways, now that I've selected the uh, subscribers information here I'm going to go ahead and click next at this screen basically I need to specify when do I release or send this campaign I can do that immediately right now in which case it will be queued and the emails will start going immediately or I can schedule it for a particular date and time now I can also make these recurring campaigns that is going to go every day uh, starting at this date at this time or I can say okay I want them going on weekly on particular days of the month at this date and this time uh, I meant particular days of the week sorry and then I have the monthly option too I can say okay I want this email campaign to be sent on every first of the month or every last day of the month or particular days of the month at this starting this date at this time lastly I also have the option to send the campaign based on some custom action or events now this is uh, for developers to integrate into live campaign so if you have your own module or application and you want to use live campaign you can go ahead and do that an example of this is our live blog module 
So if you're using our live blog module and every time you create a new blog post, you have the option to automatically have uh, that blog post emailed to everyone who's subscribed to that list. And if that's the case, you would choose this option and say when a new blog post is published, that's when you send this campaign out. For this purpose, uh, for this demo purposes, I'm just going to say send this campaign immediately. I'm going to go ahead and click on preview campaign. So this is a summary basically. It's telling me uh, who's sending the campaign, what's going in the campaign. Here's the HTML mark by I pasted and that's what my email looks like. Uh, and uh, it's telling me who's receiving this campaign, the total number of email addresses. Remember, uh, the total number of email addresses is after removing any duplicates, anyone who's unsubscribed or any bounce addresses. So you could very safely include multiple lists without worrying about, worrying about sending that same email to the same email address multiple times. Live campaign will remove the duplicates for you before sending it out. Finally, uh, when the campaign is sent uh, and delivered, it will send a confirmation email to this address. You can go ahead and change this. And then before you actually want to send the campaign out, this is something I almost always do, send a test email out to yourself and make sure everything's correct, everything looks fine. You could do the testing in different devices and so forth. To do that, you just click on send test email and this will send an email out to you. If everything looks fine and you're ready to go ahead, you just click on send and your campaign goes through. And that's it for sending a campaign out. I'm not going to actually go ahead and hit send because I did send this one a day before. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel this one out. And I'm going to show you that when you have a campaign that is in process of going out, you will see it here in the dashboard. And you will see the progress of it. Uh, how, how much uh, percentage it has completed. It will also give you the option to take a, take a look at the reports or cancel the campaign if you need to. But once a campaign has been sent out, you can go to campaigns and see it right here. As you can see, I've sent a bunch of different campaigns. And here's the one I was just demoing with. I can go ahead and click on this icon right here, which is the reports icon. Now that will take me to report view. I will start from the overview here. And it's telling me is when I send the campaign out, you could see right when I send the campaign out, which was around noon, I had a, a spike in number of people who viewed the email address. The blue is the number of views, and the red is number of clicks. Now, Live Campaign automatically tracks who's viewing your emails and who's clicking on the uh, links within the within the email as well. So, as you can see, I have some stats here uh, for this particular campaign. I had 2059 people open the email address. Now remember these are only approximates because these are done through some tracking me uh, me mechanism which is not guaranteed. It's not there's in industry there's no way for us to track whether an email was open or not. So these are just using some workarounds. So this is only an approximate numbers. They're not exact numbers. They cannot be exact numbers. And this is telling you right here 4104 is the total times the emails have been opened and these could be from the same people opening it again and again. Also tells me 533 different email addresses actually clicked on a link within my email content. Mm -hmm. It's also telling me 59 people decided to unsubscribe from one or many more list after receiving this email. So this is a nice overview here. If I go to links activity, it tells me which link got clicked the most. So I can see that and I can click on the link to follow through. And then if you were using load balancing or if you were using failover, you could see the, the distribution of mail servers, which mail servers were used, how much. Since I was just using one mail server, it's all 100% to that one. And finally, this is my favorite. I could see which email client the uh, recipients are using so that I can make sure my content is targeted towards them. Now, as you can see, I have unknown of 50%, which is assumed to be desktop. So we have 83.77 percentage of desktop, and I can see they're using Outlook 2010, 2013. Uh, some people are using Outlook 2007, um, Windows Live Mail, and then I have a big, almost 16% chunk in mobile, where mostly is iPhone, iPad, and Android. And then lastly, I have some people who are checking it directly on Gmail.com. Now. The unknown could be either web or desktop, so uh, just be careful when you're looking at the statistics and make, making sense out of them. But 
that's it for uh, sending your campaigns out and checking out on your reports and statistics. Uh, once you're done with the campaign and it's, if, it's, if it's been uh, in the past, for example, this one's been sitting since May, I can go ahead and click on delete icon and delete it. So this way you can purge the old information out. This is showing me the sent campaigns. If I jump over to scheduled, this will show me the campaigns that are waiting to go out on a specific date or time. Similarly, if I have any recurring campaigns, they will show here. Any campaigns that are supposed to go out on a specific action or events will go here. And any campaigns you end up canceling in the middle of the prog uh, campaign when it was going out will show up right here. That's it for this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please do let us know. Thank you so much for watching the video.